all right guys so i made a previous video on saying get ready for what's coming so essentially this is going to be a part two i'm just reiterating the message i want you guys to be aware of what's kind of going on throughout the world so essentially there's a conflict that just recently started up this was now in october and if you guys aren't aware of the conflict that's happening well i would turn on the news or try to to try paying attention to like whatever sources where you get your news information or where you learn about what's going out throughout the world but essentially there's a high possibility that this could expand bigger and of course i don't really want to get you guys too worried or anything like that you should still be living your life to the fullest you should be still enjoying it i just want you guys to have the basic necessities that if something does happen or you're pushed into a corner while well, you at least got the supplies to make it through out of that corner so essentially like i mentioned in my last video you you should know your threes which is essentially uh air water uh food and then also shout shelter so you guys want to make sure you're staying warm so this is something that i have a little bit of a preparation it's just something just nice to have it opened my eyes so this was back in my day when i went for a puppy and we went there we got a puppy and on the way back there was another person that was or another couple that was getting a puppy as well uh their car broke down actually and or they had a flat and it was like in the middle of nowhere that was kind of eye-opening and it made me realize the importance i pulled over asked them hey you guys need any help they're like no we already got help coming i'm like you sure um and they were pretty much fine they're like you guys are good and so i just kept on going along my way but that stayed in my head i was like Imagine breaking down in the middle of no, nowhere. You go camping, you go fishing, you go out, uh, or you're just doing a road trip, and you know the unexpected happens. And you want to make sure you're in the best possible position. So always have food, water, and heat. Essentially, the rest you can figure it out as you go. You should be uh, at least good enough to figure things out. Uh, start thinking for yourself as well. That's another thing that a lot of people lack is critical thinking. But that's just my personal opinion. It's uh, whatever you guys view anyways so essentially that going for that trip for a puppy it made me realize that hey things out of the blue do happen and with this conflict that's going to go kind of going on uh, it might get a little bit bigger a little bit larger more people might get mo more involved or just might be become not uh, a nothing it's better to have all these uh, extra materials for preparation so essentially in my last video i recommended you guys get like some sort of water filter where you can filter out water just because honestly water is really crucial you can't go three days without it imagine being super dehydrated that is probably one of the worst feelings ever i got a day without water and man it's just awful like your mouth gets so dry and i want you guys to understand hey get a couple of cases of water too it's better to have those cases and you never use them and they just take up space that's the only downside is everything that you're going to be getting is going to be taking up space but it's better to have it and be like okay well i have all this extra stuff supplies and i may never use it it might just go to waste but that's okay i much rather have it go to waste than for me to actually need it because if i actually need it that means that i'm in a worse situation where i need to pull from those resources anyways so water obviously have some sort of heat so they have like those uh heating blankets and they're real cheap they're thin and they're nice you can use them for tons and tons of things you can the best part is to just pretty much get like a survival bag uh the other thing is your food source also make sure you have enough food because honestly when's the last time you ever gone without a meal uh, i know people do fasting for maybe one day two days but imagine if you went a week without food how is that going to affect you it's also going to affect your energy levels your thinking and you guys want to make sure you're in the best possible position ever so make sure you have some basic supplies just to get you through whatever it is like a lot of people they downplay storms and then before you know it that storm kind of makes them a little bit stranded and they're without supplies and it's like man if they made a little bit of preparation just for things that do happen they would be in a better position of course you know not everybody can afford it but you can essentially afford a water straw and then you find a water source of course you got to go and maybe go walk two miles to go to a river or a pond but there's your water source it's out of the way but it's accessible it's doable so the, these things that i'm just telling you 
uh, they're the basic necessities. They're the things that I would prioritize first just because of the way how the world is. Obviously, you know, I hope it never comes to that. But essentially, I want you guys to just be a little bit prepared. And then after that, have that ease of mind of, oh, you know what? I got these supplies. I'm going to just continue living my life. Be happy. Be positive. And just do your day-to-day -day life. And just have a couple things on the side just there just in case if you ever need it. Or if somebody else in need needs it, you can be like, hey, I got some stuff for you. And you can help them out. So that's the other beneficial part is you can help out other people as well. Anyways, I just want to emphasize the part of things could happen but then they also could not happen so it's a possibility it's essentially i would say like if you're to say with everything that's going on in the world maybe a 10 percent chance 20 percent chance every day that chance seems to be getting a little bit larger and larger which is a little bit worrisome and then before you know it something does happen but anyways guys i just want you to be in the best possible position for yourself and that's why I'm sharing this message. This is why I'm creating a second video of this content is for you guys because I do care about you guys and I do want you guys to understand that, hey, I need to start taking action so I can be in the best possible position. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video.